Hey family, I just want to encourage you this coming election. Uh, how do we face this as believers and, and get encouraged to even go because it seems so crazy every year? Well, when Jesus was put to the test, uh, if he should pay taxes, uh, he said, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's. And I think of Caesar, it's, well, yeah, you pay your taxes, you obey the government. That was it. But in America, we the people uh, are what's at stake. God has given us self-government. And I believe the responsibility for us to stand and speak for those that cannot speak for themselves is immense at this season in our lives. Especially when you think about what's at stake for children in the womb. What's at stake for children in school being indoctrinated and, and moved in a direction away from a biblical foundation to a pagan uh, foundation. When it comes to the sex trade and all that gets confusing in that area and people that are vulnerable, this is what I believe the Lord would have us to do. We really need to pray, number one, for you know what's on the table. What is, what is a biblical issue? Uh, right now, the world has lost a biblical framework. We are more of a pagan nation. But that's because there's a vacuum. Christians are not expressing a biblical framework of views. And this is our responsibility, we the people. And I want to encourage you, we're not going to change the world by political action, but we are going to be responsive to the Holy Spirit to pray for who it is that will be representing us, representing what we believe. And we need to be active and go to the polls and make sure our voice is heard. Uh, don't listen to all the voices that keep you away from the simplicity of just being there to be a voice to help those that cannot help themselves. So this year, Get out and vote, especially at this crucial time in our nation.